Hey Porto Sage, welcome back to Tribal Review. On today's episode, we'll find out the results from the Missouri Interscholastic Press Association and Missouri Journalism Education Association's contest. Also on the show, we'll get to learn a little bit more about one of our senior signal staff reporters. And I'll have all the updates from spring sports, all this and more coming up on Tribal Review. At Advanced Auto Parts, you'll be graded by one of their friendly employees. Check out the most trusted auto battery in the industry, the Die Hard. A complete lineup of Die Hard batteries can only be found at Advanced or CarQuest stores. Open 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. Friendly Advanced Associates are available to assist you in all your automotive needs. Visit one of the four Independence locations today for quality CarQuest parts and Advanced Auto Parts advice. Hey, Fort Sage High School, I'm Aliyah Akers. April is National Humor Month. Telling dad jokes is a way to add a little bit of humor into your life. Hey, Ashlyn, why do bees have sticky hair? Why? Because they use a honeycomb. <laughs> and I'm Ashlyn Spirit. Today is Thursday, April 7, 2022, and here are your top news school stories. The broadcast and online journalism students competed in the annual Missouri Interscholastic Press Association and Missouri Journalism Education Association's contest on March 30th. Jordan Gunthiner, Destiny McDonald, and Journey Russell took home the best of show in the commercial slash PSA category. Sarah Relihand earned an All-Missouri and I received a superior in the same category. Derby Barr got an excellent for his news story. KFI Sports earned an excellent for live sports broadcasting and Tribal Review received an honorable mention. In the online contest, Julia Couch won an All-Missouri a superior and an excellent for her photography. Jordan Gates and Shia Mobley each got an honorable mention for her photography. Karina Hernandez and Julia Couch received a superior for the editorial writing. Shia Mobley earned an excellent for news writing. Aurora Spriggs earned an excellent for feature writing, while Trey Lee got an honorable mention for sports writing. The Signal website received an excellent ranking for overall website. Julia Couch is a writer for FOHS Signal reporter. Mariah McQueen caught up with Julia to learn more about being a writer for the Signal. Julia has won six writing awards from the Missouri Interscholastic Press Association and the Journalism Educators of Metropolitan Kansas City. Julia loves writing. It is her passion. Uh, it's definitely one of my passions. I love writing. I love everything about the class. Um, Mary's Youth taught me a lot and has really made me enjoy it a lot. Julia has written six stories this year and 21 stories her entire time in mass media. She gets along really well with the staff and enjoys her time there. Uh, the biggest thing she does is probably, yep. she's just a good friend and she's also a good writer and she's just somebody that I can rely on and if I need help with something I can always ask her for help and talk to her and she's always there to help. Julia Couch is a senior editor for the school online newspaper, The Signal. She loves everything about mass media. Um, I think she really just knows how to like get it done, and she uses Marithia as a mentor a lot, and so she really just gets everything done in a timely manner. Uh, Julia wants to keep writing after she graduates. My name is Mariah McQueen, and I'm with Tribe Rubio. Thanks, Mariah. They do a really good job with The Signal, and it always looks so good. Yeah, Julia does an amazing job with her stories. After the break, we'll learn about another senior basketball player, so stay online with us and we'll be right back. The new Campus Grounds Coffee Shop holds all of your coffee shop needs. You can order for dine-in or to-go and have everything made to order just for your enjoyment. You can enjoy tasty treats and creamy coffee with your friends in their spacious and cozy dining area. Their business hours are Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can stop by Campus Grounds Coffee Shop at 26911 East U.S. Highway 24 in Buckner, Missouri. Welcome back. We continue to look back at some of our senior winter sports athletes who competed in their final season. Reporter Nico Rosario caught up with senior athlete Arthur Wyatt to highlight his last high school season of basketball. 
Back out to Allen. Allen's going to try for the layup. Arthur White's been playing varsity basketball for three years. He feels like he's going to be a key contributor to this year's season. I think it will go a lot better than it has been. I haven't been able to play the first two games, but I'm trying to pick it back up now. Arthur is a middle child out of his family. Braden believes he is a good leader for the younger generation. Arthur likes to take control of the game, and uh, he's just a leader to everyone else and is a role model for people coming up like freshmen. Arthur is ranked third in high jump in this state for track. Kale understands the importance of Arthur on the team. Arthur, he brings a lot of energy. I feel like we feed off his energy, like when he's going down the court. I just feel like he just brings a whole bunch. Arthur Wyatt plans to continue his athletic and academic career in a JUCO college. This is Nico Rosario reporting for Travel Review. Thanks, Nico. I feel like Arthur just had a great senior year and he's a great contribution to the team. Yeah, he really stood out as a leader. Destiny McDonald now joins us for the Indian Sports Report. Hey, Destiny, I hear the rainy weather has affected the spring sports events within the past week. Yes, but games and matches have been rescheduled. I'll have all the updates after this break. TLC Automotive is a local, fast, and great way to get your car fixed. TLC offers oil changes, brake checks, vehicle inspections, and much more. Contact Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Come to Toscano's to get your pizza customized the way you want, served to you right from our wood fire stove. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Destiny McDonald with your Indian Sports Report. The women's soccer team traveled to Blue Springs South on March 31st. The Indians lost to the Jaguars 7-1. Allison Nyberg had the lone goal for the Indians. The women's soccer team then played at William Christman on April 5th. The Indians lost to the Bears 3-0. The girls now sit at 2-2 two two on the season. The Fort Osage baseball team hit the road to play Oak Park on March 30th and lost to the Northmen 5-3. Nick Tinoco and Trey Emmett each had a hit and an RBI to lead the Indians. Greg Minnie struck out four Northmen in the loss. The team then traveled to Platte County. The Indians came up short against the Pirates 3-2 on March 31st. Zach Tillman led the team from the plate with two hits and an RBI. Braden Nelson fanned three Pirates from the mound. The boys were back in action at Pleasant Hill on April 1st. The Indians lost to the Roosters 6-5 in extra innings. Nick Rosario led the Indians with a hit and an RBI in a plated run. Chase Stumfolt fanned three Roosters from the mound and allowed only one earned run in the game. Finally, the team headed over to Raytown on April 4th to take on the Blue Jays. The Indians shut them out 7-0 to earn their first victory of the season. Daniel Shawneth had two hits and an RBI to lead the team. Greg Minnie earned the win from the bump by striking out seven Blue Jays and only allowing four hits. The boys now sit at 1-7 on the season. The boys and girls track and field teams continued their season at the Grain Valley Throwers Invitational on March 29th. The boys' javelin was led by Isaac Woodward's third-place finish. In girls' javelin, jo Jordan Gunther placed third while Sydney Sullivan came in fifth. Araya Morton placed third in discus and Jordan Gunther came in fourth. The boys' tennis team started their season on March 29th against Grandview. The Indians defeated the Bulldogs 8-1 with Malcolm Davis leading the charge in singles while Hayden Leeds and Andrew Dobb led in doubles. The team then hosted Winnetonka on March 30th and beat the Griffins 5-4. Andrew Dobb and Brett Irwin won their singles matches while Brady Dar and Hayden Leeds won their doubles match. The team is now at 2-0 on the season. Well, that's it for the Indian Sports Report. I'm Destiny McDonald. Ali and Ashlyn will have more news after the break. Did you know that there are over 35,000 unaccompanied homeless youth in the United States? Every night, thousands of young people go to sleep without the safety, stability, or support of a family. For this reason, Drum Farm offers street outreach services. We offer free therapy and free case management. Our therapy services are designed to create safety for youth to share what's going on in their lives and heal from trauma. Our case management services are designed to help young adults find safe and stable housing, access food resources, hygiene items, obtain legal documents like their birth certificate, social security card, IDs, and much more. If you think you could benefit from these services, visit your counseling office today. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. The Batman movie has now been in theaters for a month. With the movie making over 600 $0.4 million in the box office travel reviews reporter Princess Mueller went around to hear your thoughts on the movie. 
The new Batman movie came out March 4th, 2022. I went around the school to find out what people thought about it. The end when the city floods and they save it with the red flare. Uh, I just liked how long it was, like the action pack and all of that. When Batman kicked the Riddler one of these butts. The plot. I really love the plot of it. I just feel like it stuck together. That movie was pretty awesome. You know, uh, wasn't really, it was kind of boring sometimes, but we got to the action, we really loved it. Especially when the music came on. Uh, I like the movie because of the plot. Uh, my favorite part of the Batman movie is the new actor is really good. I like him a lot. I like the ending. There's a total of seven Batman movies. This is Princess Mueller reporting for Travel Review. Thanks, Princess. I honestly haven't got to watch it yet, but I feel like it will be a really great movie. I got to watch it, and it was a really great movie. <laughs> it's contest season for the music department, and the choirs travel to Lee Summit North for their district competition on April 1st. 23 students receive silver ratings. The following students receive the top rate top rating of gold and will be advancing to state competition. Soloist Elena Bardoner, Alejandro Castillo, Aiden Chapman, Molly Friel, Layla Friend, Taylor White, Sadie Waller, and Morgan Watkins. The mixed double quartet of Layla Friend, Reagan Beats, Dana Maldonado, Marissa Thyssen, Reddick Burrell, Jacob Collins, Dravius Black, and Anthony Keller. The mixed double quartet of Mallory Harp, Lily Wilson, Jordan Gunther, Kira Jones, Aiden Chapman, Lake Sullivan, Braden Heeman, and Tristan Hinckley. The mixed double quartet of Sadie Waller, Morgan Watkins, Madeline Hanna, Taylor White, Alejandro Castillo, Malcolm Davis, Kyle Gross, and Dylan Newell. The men's double quartet of Alejandro Castillo, Lake Sullivan, Aiden Chapman, Malcolm Davis, Kyle Gross, Landon Sullivan, Dylan Newell, and Cade Tucker. The women's trio of Sadie Waller, Taylor White, and Molly Friel. The Women's Miscellaneous Choir of Layla Friend, Meredith Peterman, Linda Alviar, Mackenzie Rice, Zelda Furking, Deanna Maldonado, Kira Jones, and Jada Bittaker. These students will compete at the State Festival on April 28th at the University of Missouri. On April 2nd, band members competed in the District Solo and Small Ensemble Festival at Lee Summit North High School, where out of 11 events, 10 of them are heading to state. The Flute Quartet received an outstanding award. The following students received an exemplary award. Elena Edgar with an oboe so solo, Haley Gregory in a clarinet solo, Olivia Siefker with a flute and piccolo solo. Brianna Cox in a flute solo, Cade Tucker with a piano solo, Adelia Spidal piano solo, and Logan Mullins with a trumpet solo. The mixed woodwind trio of Haley Gregory, Sadie Waller, and Olivia Siefker. And mixed woodwind trio, Brianna Cox, Elena Edgar, and Ryan York. All of these students will compete in the State Music Festival at the University of Missouri on April 28th. As always, if you're looking for more news and information about Fort Osage High School, you can always find additional coverage at FOHSSignal.net. There you'll find stories about the students' activities of the school, so check it out today. Well, that's it for today's show. I'm Aliyah Akers. I'm Ashlyn Spear. And I'm Destiny McDonald. Thanks for spending part of your day with us. We'll see you next week.